With the Denver Nuggets falling down 0-3 against the Golden State Warriors, it has been pretty hard to watch, and I just please give Nikola Jokic some help. He put up 37, 18, and 5, and yet they still fell short. Now, the Warriors. Let's talk about the Warriors first. And the Warriors have been so unstoppable. Just that death lineup of Draymond, Wiggins, Clay, Steph, and Poole. That's one of the deadliest lineups in it might be the deadliest lineup in the entire NBA. Curry still playing as a six man. He dropped 27, six and three, hit some clutch three pointers. And yes, he maybe isn't 100%. I mean, he's looking close to it, but Steph Curry's been amazing. And Jordan Poole, bro, the confidence, the swagger, and those like they showed on the broadcast, like Jordan Poole hyping up Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, three future Hall of Famers. And Poole has really just broken out. It's crazy that Jordan Poole was pretty much in the G League last season. And now look at that. He's averaging like 26 points in the series and probably been the best player on the Warriors team. I mean, yes, that might be a little bit of a hot take, but he's looked like it if you just looked at the box score and watched the games, just these three games alone, he's been their best player. And Jordan Poole has been so impressive getting threes, taking acrobatic layups, and Jordan Poole, the real deal. Now, Jordan Poole's future, I don't think many people are talking about that. He is a free agent next season. And because he was a 2019 free agent, oh, 2019 draft, and then he has a four-year deal and he will be expiring next year and he is going to be restricted. Now, I think some teams will give him a max offer. I mean, there's still one more season, but the Warriors are capped out and we'll see how that plays out. Clay Thompson, 26 points. I think he had six three-pointers. Hit some really big shots down the end. Andrew Wiggins did not play the best, only nine points, hit a big corner three at, in the in the middle of the fourth quarter, which was really big. He got also a really big rebound that led to a Jordan Poole acrobatic layup. And then Draymond Green. Draymond Green is just the glue, the engine, just leads this team on both ends. Six points, ten rebounds, I mean ten assists, five rebounds. Doesn't look amazing, but the game winning, the game winning steal on Jokic. And I saw a stat like Draymond has six, oh, Jokic has had six turnovers on Draymond. That's like tied for the most in the entire postseason of a player getting a turnover or getting a steal on a player. I think the other one is Jason Tatum and Kevin Durant, which is also so impressive for Tatum. But Draymond had so many clutch buckets, had so many good, so many passes. And yes, he isn't gonna score the most. And yes, he isn't the same player offensively scoring as in 2016, but Draymond, the defense is there, the enthusiasm is there, the energy is there, and he's just what they need so much. Then so like Andre Iguodala, Gary Payton, Otto Porter Jr. all playing well, and this team just looks so scary, and they are looking like they might be able to make it to all the way to the NBA Finals, even perhaps beating the Suns. With this death lineup, it's so unstoppable, especially if you have Clay the defense, Draymond the defense, Andrew Wiggins good defender. And if you can have Jordan Poole, Steph Curry be hidden a little bit, and they aren't really the worst on-ball defenders, which is solid. And then uh, the offense will always be there, having three, four players who can get you a bucket. And Jordan Poole, Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, that guard trio is absolutely insane, especially in the clutch. You can trust us trust those guys to make free throws hit make them hit big shots and that's what makes this team so scary and then to the nuggets please give Nikola Jokic some help he was played so good post hooks two for three from three and yes the offense kind of struggled in the fourth quarter and Jokic didn't I don't think scored in the last five minutes but it's kind of hard when you get doubled and the passes he's throwing this entire series they just haven't really been the, the other person just hasn't really been making those shots Aaron Gordon he played pretty good this game but like the first game he only had eight points was pretty much a negative and then like Jeff Green four points only 22 minutes Will Barton was really good game one but he's only 13 points this game I think he had like high single digits or low double digits in game two and they need at least one of these guys to step up when you have Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. out, you need somebody to step up. And it's just been so impressive to see how Jokic, still with this bad team, if you remove Jokic from this roster, just remove him, just get him out of your head, then this team looks like a the worst team in the NBA, honestly. Like, honestly, that bad. Aaron Gordon as your best player, 
when Jokic is not on the floor, that's just not acceptable. Now, next season, I mean, it's not over for the Nuggets, but next season they will have Jamal Murray and hopefully Michael Porter Jr. So hopefully they can make another run. But they just, the role players haven't been stepping up. Brent Forbes, Bones Highland hasn't been, he's been solid. Boogie played solid. Jermichael Green, he, he's all right. But having these guys just not step up, it really hurts. And still, it's so crazy how Jokic is making this game close. Now, I, I've seen a lot of people slander Jokic because of this, but it's more impressive that he's led this team to 48 wins, I believe, and that's three games less than the Bucks, the Celtics, and the Sixers. So, I don't know. Just Draymond is such a, is such a good defender, perhaps the best defender in the NBA, but just Watching that game in the fourth quarter, especially the fourth quarter, their offense just struggled. I think in the last like four minutes, it was like a nine to two Warriors run. Just I think Will Barton hit one layup and that's it. And yes, the Warriors defense is absolutely incredible with Draymond as the anchor, but still, it's kind of struggling. Now I would maybe like to see Jokic. I mean, Jokic played amazing and. I don't, I mean, Jokic's shot is always interesting. I mean, his mid-range, his somber shuffle, maybe shoot more threes. I don't really know because if you have Jokic barreling in the paint, not many people can stop him. And they just need someone else to at least contribute at a solid level. Aaron Gordon played okay, but then no one else really. Will Barton and Monte Morris, 13 and 10 points. Not really that good. And that's the reason why Jokic's assist haven't been off the charts. I know he averaged eight assists this season, and he's only he had five assists this game. And in game one, he only had six assists too, which is still good. But considering the passes he's still making, he's still getting those good looks for his teammates. But they're just not knocking it down. And for the for game four, it's gonna be tough for the Nuggets. I mean, that would be absolutely brutal for the, the potential two-time MVP to be swept in the first round. Now the West Warriors team. That's like a, one of the worst matchups for this Nuggets team. But overall, the Warriors have just been so impressive, man. They look legit. I mean, a Suns Warriors matchup, that's going to be awesome if it does happen. Hopefully, Devin Booker can get back by at least the second round. And they're, they pretty much have everything your defense, the and their depth has been solid. And those three guys, Jordan Poole, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and then you pair them up with Draymond Green and Andrew Wiggins. That's absolutely incredible. Jordan Poole, what a find by the Warriors. And I really want to see how the playoffs go. And then the Nuggets, like, Jokic can't do everything. He was so good that game doing post hooks, two threes, some mid ranges, good passes. But please just give him some help next season. I mean, if Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. is here, even one of them is there, this is a whole different series. They might, it might be like two to one right now, or maybe even two to one when the Nuggets win game. I mean, we're not completely sure because, I mean, they did get blown out. So I think if they have Jamal Murray this game, or even MPJ that we saw last year, they probably win this game, but they're of course not here. And hopefully they can return back next season. They, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna return this year, which sucks that Jokic is gonna have so little help, but we'll see how game four goes and we'll see if the Nuggets get swept. So that's even my thoughts about this game. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time.